What's up, guys? Today, we're gonna be... <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually headed towards the dealership because I've been following the forums and people are actually getting the deliveries. They're leaving the ports, arriving at the dealership. So I contacted a dealership that's not quite local, but they actually have one in stock. They said it's not a problem for me and my friend, Jackie who has a GTI in my previous videos. We're gonna go ahead and take a look. They said it's fine to take a look, but not drive it, which is fine. And see whether or not uh, we're missing out. Based on my previous video, where I, I, I picked this Mark 7R up during the summer of 2017, I said in the video whether or not I asked myself whether or not I'll be regretting not waiting for the Mark 7.5R. So today should be the day where a lot of these questions would be answered. So yeah, we're headed we're headed there right now. A little bit of traffic, but the next time you see us, hopefully there is no trouble in, in getting in the vehicle and taking a, just a quick look. All right, so. Here's a new R. All right guys, so right now I'm inside the vehicle. They actually gave me the keys. They were nice enough to give me the keys. The keys look similar to back then. I'm not quite sure, but this part is plastic. I know they have an R related one, a R branded one, but this one's straight up plastic. It feels pretty light. All right. Other than that, uh, this is the new digital dash. Let's kind of start it up. This is the new Discover. I'm not. I came. I'm not even gonna keep up with this, but some sort of Discover media system. Still no lock on the um, the. What do you call this again? Glove, glove box. The glove box. Yeah. The glove compartment. Fender system. Fender Everything is still the same. You got your seven-speed DSG, digital dash, a new head unit. Uh, same frameless. From the 2017s. Yeah. Going back, you got your perforated leather seats with silver trim. All right. It looks like 3M material, but it's not. It's just um, an extra lining on the edges to outline everything or highlight. So I'm gonna put this back. Basically, yeah, guys, this is similar to the 2017s. I kind of just highlighted all the differences. But, oh yeah, so as our sales rep was talking about, yeah. Gotta check out the headlights too. The rims, the black, they did the black calipers with the R on there. You got black or the silver calipers? Uh, we got black too. You got black? Okay, yeah, we good, got black good, too. Yeah. Cause in the beginning of the 17s, they had silver and like they lightened up. Oh yeah? Yeah, with the black R on it. Yeah, And yeah. then they went to the black, so I wasn't sure which which okay. one you got of the 17s. Yeah. But yeah. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Those are like the new alloys, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Is it a light? Lighting pack? The light. You can actually buy that. It's the same fit as yours. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just different interior. These are LEDs now too. Yeah. Yeah. But these are by Xenons. These are the LEDs. Okay. Mm hmm Yeah. I heard I heard these are LED output now. And then my, my old 17s were Bison Bison yeah. So. Well, this, yeah, that yeah. one is the LED. This is still Bison. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one is the LED. Okay, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you got your integrated yes. adaptive In cruiser. Here right? instead of down here. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. I think that's that's that looks a lot nicer. Right, yeah. I would say it looks a lot cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> and I honestly, I think this design here mm -hmm. is way nicer mm -hmm. than 
what I have in the 17s. Right. Yeah, it's, it's right down there. Yeah, I kind of just one? I parked right between oh, the, uh, the, the truck. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> Good. You don't mind if I start it again, right? Yeah, tell him to put, put this one on the brake and push the button. Right, so that's the exhaust. Just do a quick exterior walk around. These are LED tail lights too, yes. right? Yeah. Change the LED tail lights. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can turn them on. Did a slight change on the uh, the rear flare yeah, wings there. Yeah, yeah, the diffuser balance. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of honeycomb action going on right. here. Got the honeycomb in the front and yeah. the honeycomb in the back. It used to be straight. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And I guess you leave it up to the uh, owner to uh, drill the front plate. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's really appreciated by everyone. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it's you know, yeah. a vehicle. You know, unless you. <laughs> Unless you say, ah, uh, you know what, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not a tow hook for the, uh, yeah. the license plate, the right? License plate yeah. Over there. I think another thing I like is the seats. Mm hmm. The uh, perforated the leather. And the, yeah. The, the, yeah perforated. And the lighting. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's something nice. So this they sold this thing last night, and, and at night when you open the door, the blue lighting. Yeah. Under here, and then the yeah. blue lighting there. It's just amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's nice interior lighting. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. Just gotta check the trunk. The trunk's no big deal. Everything is staying the same. You got your mats here, mm -hmm. the golf bar mats and then and your, um, oh, okay, and you got mm -hmm. the golf bar all, all season mats too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One thing about this new design, though, I feel like the rear gets really dirty fast after rain or anything. Like, I think it might be the it's angle. It's because of the angle. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 It doesn't give a runoff. Yeah. It just sits. Because yeah. the air is not pushing it off aerodynamically. Yeah. This is kicking the air out. So this is just leaving it, you know, uh -huh. to dry by itself. So, yeah. That's why I kind of don't like the hatch because it always leaves the back dirty. <laughs> That's just me, you know. I'm yeah. a sedan type of guy, so. Yeah. Let's take a look at the, uh, the MSRP. 42.55, including A50 destination. You got your honey chrome deep there, deep inside there. You're still, you're still functioning with the um, the silver trim in the front, but they got rid of the silver trim on the bottom, right, in which I prefer. The only trim or the only, the only colors that are, that the trim looks good on, I believe, is the black. Maybe even the darker colors, but um, definitely not the blue doesn't fit with my lapis. I'm gonna have to do something in the future about that. But if you take a look at the radar cruise control, uh, it's no longer it's no longer tactile. The VW is no longer. Uh, I can't explain it, but it's a whole fluid design. Yeah, no problem. It's so a much. pleasure meeting you. Yeah. All right. If you need so. anything else, you know, yeah. Volkswagen, your Volkswagen owner. Yeah. Were you you local? Um, Brooklyn. Oh shit. Sure. You came so. all the way out here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, well, thanks for stopping by. I mean, yeah, you know where we are. If you need anything. Yeah. Or yeah. If I have your time. card. Yeah. 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 That'd be I'll cool. I'll take your card too. Yeah. 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 Basically, this is it. Alright guys, so it's the next day, uh, 
uh, Jackie's no longer here, but I was just thinking about my findings for the 2018s after looking at it yesterday, and uh, I'm just gonna do a, a bit of a pro and cons and what you know what my opinions are since I bought the Mark 7. So uh, let's go ahead and start off with the the front of the vehicle. As I was approaching it, I was kind of prepared for. It. I was looking for it because I've seen pictures online. I, I've, I've been keeping up with the car, but in person, I think the uh, the front grill especially with the facelift it looks a lot nicer than the current generation mark 7s the, my car right now despite what other people may think or maybe they, they agree I don't, I don't think it looks aggressive enough and I think they VW should have done more with it and they kind of addressed it with the mark 7.5 so the wheels are pretty nice for darker colors that's what I think but with the lapis blue or the uh, the white color the orcs white and even the red, I believe. I don't think it's gonna be. I do like the old Pretorias better, and that's another reason why I kind of went for the 2017s. Although you could go ahead and argue you could go aftermarket rims. Uh, the rear of the vehicle pretty much stayed similar. The uh, beside the it still has the quad pipes, but the diffuser section with the um, the valance it has some sort of like a honeycomb design from. I guess the GTIs, but they put it in the back of the R's, which I don't really think fits. Uh, you hardly notice it. It's still a glass black balance, which I which I, I think is nice, but um, the center part doesn't really fit along with the R. Other than that, the rear is basically the same as the, uh, the Mark 7s. Uh, moving on to the, the lights. Uh, from what I read, I don't know if uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, he, he knows his car more than I do because he sells it for a living, but um, either way, LED output it should be uh, significantly better or brighter than the uh, Xenons that we have. Um, moving on to the interior, that's where I think the R7.5 shines. It's something that I, I decided not to wait for because I'm not sure how the, the long-term wise longevity uh, of the uh, of the dash how it'll hold up. Mainly because of the virtual cockpit, and I think I read some stories on the forum saying uh, it was kind of flickering on the Audi forums. I, I don't remember when I read it, but uh, it's interesting to see how it performed in sub-zero temperatures. So, but. Definitely the uh, interior is, the font and everything is crisp. Even with the new head unit, uh, it has a glossy, more reflective screen, more prone to fingerprints, but it seems like the system is a lot snappier. It's a little bit bigger in terms of a uh, uh, screen size, but overall the interior stayed pretty much the same other than the, um, the, the technology, the um, the tech, the electronics, but if you kind of miss out, if you kind of look into it, there's something that catches your eye, and I, I would say that those are the new seats, and the seats have perforated leather, and I think those are most noticeable because of the uh, the knots and everything, um, but along with that, there's going to be a silver lining trim, which I think is pretty cool, uh, it, it accents the interior pretty well. Like I said before in my previous videos, I think the R interior is it's, it's pretty bland. It's too dark in a way to tighten leather. But I would say that's that's about it for the vehicle other than the um, the 7 speed DSG that's available to the uh, new R from the uh, S3 I believe. So uh, I question whether or not I'll be regretting not waiting for the Mark 7 R. And Right now, I honestly, it's not, it's not a regret issue because I think I did the right thing responsibly by, because uh, I did save a lot of money on the, um, by going certified pre-owned because the first owner took most of the depreciation hit. There's no regrets. <clears throat> I think it's more like me missing out on the new features. But that's a fact of matter with uh, with the technologies, right? Uh, same with computers, same with uh, electronics, cars, phones. Uh, there's always going to be something better the next year. So uh, 
deep down or just like when it comes down to it it's still a golf r with the same engine it may be a different tranny but the engine puts out the same amount of uh, horsepower and with the tune they they're going to be similar either mark 7 mark 7.5 so uh, yeah i think that's a, that's about it but I would just like to thank everyone for recently just subscribing and for all my long-term subscribers. Uh, again, I did my 500 video back then and I started out, I started this as a hobby. And it's really something I look forward to do on my spare time after work. <clears throat> so it, it's, uh, I feel really humbled by the fact that I reached a thousand subs. Wait, but I'm glad I stuck to it. And I just want to thank everyone for, 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 for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, what's going on? All I gotta do is put my mind to this shit. God damn.